Um, so this is the free prologue for Quasi Morph. Okay, so I, I played this like a year ago when it was called Quasi Morphosis Exordium. Uh, back when I played it, when it was called Quasi Morphosis Exordium. It was a free demo, air quotes, for what could potentially be a full video game. And they were like, yeah, we might keep developing this if we can get funding. Uh, and now they're doing this again. So they've released a Steam page. They removed that Steam page. And now they've got this one, which is another Steam page, which is just a demo for the full game. It's like, man, just just make a game, Steam, make a Steam page for it, and then like put a demo on it. Stop with these free prologue crap. But anyway, this this is a turn-based roguelike-ish thing. Um, I think with this version, they've tried to make it into an extraction shooter, aka Tarkov, where you go out into the world and you you know uh, collect resources and upgrade something. But I don't know. I haven't gotten deep enough in to really find out. Uh, there's some neat ideas in here, so we'll be trying it. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. We're going to start a new Roger. thing. We can hear this developer voice acting. I think this is all just one guy talking to himself. <sighs> now we have text we can read if we want. Which it doesn't really let me scroll up on and moves too fast for me to read. So. Cool. Um, so we have this button where I can see the, can I? Yes, I can. Uh, I can see the system map, right? And with all of these different possible locations. Currently there's two places we can go to. We can go to Mercury and we can go to Venus. Um, meaning it looks like you'll be traveling around the galaxy running a, you know, Magnum, Magnum Scriptum is the name of the developer. So I think they just put Magnum on everything because of the, you know, big dick. Um, anyway. Yes, they said the name of the thing. They said the name of the thing. So now that now, now that we have that, we can click on this. Then, we'll, then we have to look at this and go blah, 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 blah. It's provided us with coordinates on a yet... And an as yet unattacked outpost belonging to Fresco region. Uh, Demanter... Region uh, Dementors Corona. All right. Uh, it could literally be a quasi-morphosis research lab. Uh, analysts believe that uh, valuable research information may be there. The key mission is to retrieve this data. Extras. Uh, Fresco Conglomerant is one of the pioneers in Venus terraforming. They started 80 years ago. Throughout this time, they have been building outposts under geodesic domes, uh, establishing themselves on the surface, and they also imported genetically modified flora and fauna. I'm sure that's healthy. Uh, the memoranda for the soldiers indicated the strategy to use Venus as an agricultural site as well as a tourist hub. Seems kind of hot for a tourist hub. Uh, at some point... All the plans were disrupted, and Ancom's consultants reported an uh, unprecedented amount of phase shifting in the regions. Oh, that's great. Bunch of made-up words. Uh, Quasimorphosic structures were appearing out of nowhere uh, every few minutes, and the station was rapidly, was rapidly deteriorated. I have a suggestion. We don't go here. This seems bad. That's my suggestion. Anyway, um, the conglomerate's Dignitas had been uh, declining steadily for several years, and the projects were constantly postponed, and they weren't even paying back loans. Oh, no. And information about Fresco's open collaboration with the PMCs was leaked into the media, and this was the last nail in the coffin. Fresno's stock is balancing in the negative range, and the board of directors has partially withdrawn and those who with may remain are duping the rest of the assets at throwaway, or dumping the uh, rest of the assets at throwaway prices, and the whereabouts of the CEO and the of the conglomerate are unknown. All right, so now we make a clone. So we've now made a clone, okay? And then we select our class. We have two classes. We have the Eclipse of Blades and the Scout of Hades. So I... Don't actually know what any of this means, but uh, close quarters combat specialist, uh, combat focus attack, and the player 
Attacking a player, whether hit or... Attacking a player, whether hit or not, activates the trigger. Whatever that means. I guess getting attacked? Uh, each shot from a pistol, shotgun, or SMG gives one experience. Well, that's great. Um, a successful attack on a player activates the trigger. I'm curious about something that I need to check. Yeah, this is all single player, so I don't know what it means by a player. Like, getting attacked, maybe? Um, each turn of running it gives an experience. Okay. Each time any amount of damage is absorbed by resistances, gain one experience. Okay. Pain shock above activates the trigger to gain immunity. Okay. And what's this? All right, so we select our class, and then we grab our equipment, at which point we're going to grab a gun. We're going to grab that. We're going to grab a backpack. We're going to grab a shirt. We're going to grab pants. We're going to grab boots. We're going to grab bullets. We're going to grab more bullets. We're going to grab that, that, and that. Because it just lets me grab infinite, so obviously I'm going to grab infinite. And, like, all of this feels kind of harkov -y. You know, you select your gear, do all that stuff, and then... Click send it. We'll drop you right off at Fresco's landing platforms. The host party is mercenaries from the Tef uh, Tifton PMC. I can't read anymore because it's moving. I either need to be able to pause or like scroll up while it's writing. But right now I just, I can't read that. So I've played I haven't finished this mission yet, but I've played parts of this mission a couple of times. The areas are randomly generated, so I will say that much. Um, if I hit H, we can... Okay, this is where I'm like, I don't know where the UI is all going to be. Yeah, I need to move my camera. All right, so let's let's swap sides, shall we? Uh, chat, I'm going on a road trip. Over here, we... Okay, now I live over here, and you can you can live over here with me. Don't make me turn this car around, chat. All right. Now that we've done that, should be good. So I can move around with uh, Numpad, or I can move around with Zemus. It's got directional facing, which is kind of fun. Very Aliens RL. A water bottle, that seems useful. You can just hold control. What if you left something at home? I can't help you then. Should have packed it. Enemies can also throw, use offensive grenades. Oh, I think that means a grenade just got thrown at me. <laughs> but uh, they do it much worse than our operatives. Uh, there are expectations to avoid getting hit by shrapnel, and it's better to move into a safe distance to cover. There's a dude right here, and I think he just threw a grenade at me. I'm just going to stand down here. If this guy comes to me, eh, I'm in melee. Stab. And stab. Okay, well, maybe I'm just a bad person. Let's see, what, what did we get? We got a liberator. What do we have? An eagle. Okay, well, uh, a liberator has what? 15 to 17 damage? 8 to 10? Man. Do you use... I don't know what, so I'm looking at ammo type. Oh, I guess ammo type is like this, right? 797, okay, well, got those, and I got antibiotics, great. Pistols. Oh, neat, you step in the blood and you can spread it around a little bit. So I think, color, <laughs> Hmm. I don't think that's the name of my ship. Well, let's see what, what else we can find around here. I wonder if I can, like, go down onto this lower level. Oh, that's kind of neat. You kind of can. You got to pop out. Exactly, DJ. All right, let's... Sneak out this way. So you don't get direct hit chances, but what you do get is you see how it kind of gets yellow at a point where it's just like... You can kind of 
C, you're gonna not hit as well. Just gonna back up here. I don't know if I can just rotate. That would be useful if I could. I just saw blood appear. Oh, that was a miss. See? Come around the corner. Take you out. I think this guy died. Yep. Yes, he did. What's this? Okay, so you use the same kind of ammo as my other gun. But you're in worse condition. But hey. I'll take you. Unload ammo. Grab you. Want things that do more damage, you know? But yeah, this is um, this thing. I have no idea how much of your stats carry over from run to run, if anything, because it really seems like we're going to drop you here and then you're going to go on this mission, right? And then you're going to go on this mission in this location and try and gain progress. And I can see blood appearing. Or something. I think I got her. And if that's the kind of way this game works, I think that could work. You know, playing a extraction shooter with kind of like the mechanics and aesthetic of a roguelike on top of it could be interesting. That could be something I, I could be interested in. But I also don't know exactly. They also don't seem very interested in assaulting me, do they? Nor do they seem interested in shooting at me. Can you get bigger backpacks? I assume so. So this is the free prologue, which is releasing tomorrow. Like the free demo, which they're releasing tomorrow, or day after tomorrow, not tomorrow. Um, and I'm trying this out out of morbid curiosity. I played the last one they put out, which was like a year ago. Um, and now they have a publisher and like money behind this thing. So I'm really curious to see how this is. I mean, so far it seems more mechanically competent than it was previously. Well, this is interesting. So now I have this, I think, this vest. So I can move stuff down onto here and gain some space back. That's nice. He now has hot bar. Now this doesn't really, that's pleasant. This doesn't really seem like the sort of game where I'm going to need to be like, what? what's the word? Killing everything necessarily? Automatic shotgun. I'll just take the extra rounds. <laughs> Jeff Hammer. It definitely said Jackhammer. Okay, well, we need to get to the station, so let's go to the station. Station sta scan data confirms that we were looking at the lab in the lower levels. We are looking for something small, likely portable laptop computer. One of the leading scientists in this lab or something similar. Try not to destroy this equipment in the process of clearing. Did it act well, I can't, I can't go look now, so I guess I will just believe that it's a Jeff Hammer. Color palette swapped green jacket. Armor plate, okay. And uh, mysterious piece of flesh. So down here, like, we have hunger, by the way. So I do have to be eating food. Um, and I assume it only goes down when I'm moving. We have our full HP, and then, like, different limbs can get injured. And if they get injured, then it pops up my first aid stuff here, and I can apply different first aid pieces to different limbs. Once again, very Tarkov-esque. That's a busy room. gonna <laughs> just immediately get full of injuries. I was just trying to throw a grenade. Let's see if I can close the door. 
These injuries are uh, common in combat situations. The first priority is to treat the wound. You can use bandages, splints, or ordinary rags for that. To obtain a rag, tear up any unnecessary clothing. Clothing, auto docks, and surgical kits allow you to immediately heal any wound. Which, I thought that would close that door. Guess not. We're gonna use this auto dock. Kill zombie. Seems like my stomach is in in, in a bad spot. <laughs> um, but I can put a bandage on it, which will get it healing. I can back up a little bit. So I am getting an infection. So we've called Dr. Jones and it's fixed that. Quad damage, oh that's fun. I'm gonna grab that. We got a bunch of bodies in here. Would like more grenades. This seems bad. Okay, so you can swap weapons without the game costing you. That's an interesting voice, sir. Take you again. Two shots left. Load. They don't really shoot you in melee range, do they? Interesting. I would kind of expect them to be a little bit more suicidal in close range, but they don't seem to be. Can I move there without picking that up? you. I'm gonna drink the cola. That looked like a crafting station, but it's not. Hmm. I'm gonna swap you two. Because that's an interesting weapon. Boy, that seems bad. Combat focus, dodge chance, plus 40%. Okay, well, I mean, there is, like, a bunch of dudes in that room. Okay, I really need the game to answer me as to why I can't move into doors. Or I can't cl I have to move into doors. I can't cl just click on doors and, like close the door. There's got to be like a button that I'm missing. Bloody context-sensitive context, context sensitive menus. Glory pants. Okay. They don't seem much better than my trousers. Okay, so it's right click to close doors. Ow, you dickwad. <gasps> All right, well, there's another auto dock up north, so I'm gonna head up there. Or not, because I don't actually need to. We're still healing. Ow, okay, never mind. no longer healing. Say, are you gonna attack me? Because there you are. I like how all the bodies kind of stay everywhere. That's a 
That's fun to just see just like piles of stuff. Yeah, I understand the feel. Sorry, been there. Close this. Did the zombies close the door? I guess the zombies closed the door. Oh shit, noodles. Delicious. Okay, so I, I don't think I can really move into the same tile. Don't think I can move into the same tile as dead dudes in doorways. So I don't know what this was, because I blew it up. And kind of highlight it, sort of. I can go in here. They told me not to destroy the computer in the process of looting. And they told me to find a computer. I'm not seeing anything outside of this. Okay, so we did have to go down to the lab laboratory. I thought we were already in the laboratory. Scanner. This allows you to locate objects, personnel, or elevator. Use scanner. Hey, we have a map now. That's kind of cool. Mr. Meaty. Delicious. That seems friendly. My weapon's now damaged. Well, that's great. Okay. I guess we need to find a new body. Or a, a new weapon. A new shoddy. Well, already found a, a new pistol to replace it with, so that's good. Let's reload you. A helper. Add servo arm unit. Can I even... Equipped that? Oh, okay, so it replaces my backpack. But it, oh, I see. So I now have another weapon slot on my arm. Interesting. So I have to pick everything back up. We're slowly gaining more inventory space. Yes, I've tried CDDA. Not in a while, though. What the fuck is that? This seems bad. Ow. Your backpack is torn. Cool. Well, it died. I see him almost dead. I got <laughs> not much HP left. All right, well, let's bandage that, bandage that, bandage my head. And I'm out of bandages now, which means I should probably start ripping up clothing. Well, I wonder if I can go back to that previous zone and use the auto dock. <laughs> Because there was a auto dock like right there. Let's go back to the station. Yeah, bandages work over time, but not like ban. So, so there are wounds, and then there's your health, right? Wounds are these, and if you have damages like wounds, they will make you take damage over time, and give you infections, which can just outright kill you. And then there's your HP, and you take HP damage while you're accruing wounds. So I guess, like, you could die really quickly if you're not paying attention, basically. 
Then also you have to manage food. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and CDDA is just kind of tedious. Disassemble, disassemble those pants, so that seems friendly. Can I close the door? Okay. Well, that seems bad. <laughs> like, you didn't see anything. Least of all me. Well, this seems equally as terrible as a moment ago, and now I need to reload. I mean, why can't, why aren't you letting me swap? Because it tells me that I need reload. Well, okay. So then why aren't you letting me swap between guns? Just, you let me do that, but you don't let me do it the other way. Anyway, we're dead, so. I'm not fond of the fact that they don't let me swap between guns, but they let me open up my inventory and swap between guns. Why, why are you not letting me do that game? Then I guess we try that again. So when you start reloading, it reloads for the number of turns that's up there. So if I hit reload, which... It, yeah, it's two turns. So I have to move two tiles before it's done reloading. Or wait two turns. But if you start reloading and then just do this, it'll cancel that. Which is really funny. Which is how I, you know, almost <laughs> survived last time, but didn't. I mean, don't you run around with a combat knife cutting up people's pants to make bandages, animal? I'm just gonna close this door. Also, right clicking in a direction lets me spin for free without spending a turn. That's interesting. Spiders, great. Why is it always spiders? Apparently I can't go that way. Cool. There's our way down. Um, I'm tempted to just eat both of these. Throw you down there. Don't know how much of this is like, it's like the first level is just like, this is where you get gear. So you use the first, like, I, I feel like they want you to backtrack back up to the first level repeatedly, but I could be wrong. Station data confirms location of the lab lower levels. We're looking for something small, like the portable laptop or something. There's a dead auto dock there. killers. So I'll bet ya... Wait, hold on a second. Is this excellent level gen? Wow. This is how you know this is really well-balanced level gen, chat. <laughs> Spawn in. Start of the level. Move through. One doorway. End of the level. With an auto dock right next to it. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to throw some stuff into this, and we'll just keep note of where that elevator is. Diablo flash flashbacks. Ah, it's just very well-balanced level gen, like I said. We're using that. We're using shoddy shells. Okay.
All right, well, might as well move down. Some of your favorite Adom levels like, are like that. I mean, it, it just means that they haven't really, either they don't care that that can happen or they haven't taken into account that that can happen. And that won't like, that's not a bit make or break. That's more just like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, Chad. Do you think that a game like this would be tense enough to work as an extraction shooter? Because I feel like to be a good extraction shooter, you have to have an element of moment to moment, like, because I, I think a game like this could work as an extraction shooter, but it's certainly not the format that I would go for for this, you know? Like, if, if I was saying, I'm going to play an extraction shooter, I'm going to play Zero Sievert. I'm not going to play this. For this, I just, I want to go on a run, and I want it to feel balanced. Does it, uh, does what you have injured matter much? It changed, so, like, if your arms are injured, you might d drop items. Uh, I've, dr I, I dropped a knife earlier when I got shot at point-blank range. Um, it seems like different, like, if you get shot in the leg, it'll slow you down, stuff like that. But yeah, aesthetically, it's nice looking. Okay, we will reload. Morphine. It's definitely like Tarkov. Also, I apparently now actually have that secondary slot. I'm not sure why I suddenly got this, but... Find the elevator and get upstairs and we'll pick you up there. Now, I wonder if there's going to be more threats on the way out. Or if it's just going to be like, walk slowly to the elevator. <laughs> oh, sweet. So you just click it back. Maybe that's what it is, heatable vermin. Which now leads me to believe, do you think, like, from here on forward on every mission I'm going to have CQC level 2? Or do you think I'm going to have CQC level 2 until I die? Right? Like, I wonder. So I have to evacuate prisoner 744. One of the leading scientists of our numerous scientific f papers. Uh, now that governments no longer exist, a prison is a service. Bad news. Yay. No outgoing signals from the IBSA. Well, that's a good news. That means there's nobody there, right? Means we're not gonna die. All right, a lot of empty storage. <laughs> Holes in the ground. Oh, now I can figure out what this thing is that I blew up the other time. Nothing, okay. Wow, it is actually called a Jeff Hammer. For some reason, I thought you guys were joking about that, but it's actually, you're, you weren't shitting me. It's actually called a Jeff Hammer. Huh. <laughs> a mind chip unlocks Merc. So I guess if we extract with this, I unlock a new class type. Order the stars, the pit. Yeah, similar gameplay. Very bleh. Eh, my door is on fire. I don't really want to catch on fire. That seems bad for my health. So this is term count, turn counter right here. So you can see me passing through turns down there. Okay, well, a lot of them had sh buck shots. Eat some food. That body just moved. Ow. It was pleasant. Let's just chug the water. There we 
gunsmith box. Um. Pop you down there. I'm assuming that repairs my gun, actually, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Interesting. How's game? It's a little clunky. I've There was definitely a point where, like, if you go to reload a gun like the one I'm using right now, um, it takes two turns to reload. Or you can just, like, hit tab and swap over to the other gun by doing this, and it skips that. It's a little janky. Um, this isn't the full game. This is a, I have the key for, um, oh, an axe. I, I, I have uh, access to their free version that's releasing on the 31st a few days early, so. Ow. Ow. Wall hacking son of a. Interesting. We didn't actually get hit by that. Ow. Um, I say, you'd think I'd be more likely to hit than that. Okay. I is yeah, they seem to be. I uh, attempted the first mission a couple of times um, and just kept like aborting to see what the variance was like, and it seems pretty varied. It runs in Unity, so. Oh, okay. So if you, if you if you lose your clone, I assume I now lose all. I lost all my stuff. Yeah, I lost all my stuff. So I have to relevel my clone now. So it's it's kind of doing the. Uh, oh, what's the name of that video game? It's doing the thing that um, Hunt Showdown does, where if you die, it's like yeah, get fucked. But uh, I still have the stuff down here from those previous runs. So yeah, I guess now I need to re I need to level a new character. That's that's an interesting way. You know, honestly, I think I prefer this over just like straight up meta progression. You know what I mean? Like, there's actual loss here. I what? Oh, I see. The dude all the way up there. Fancy er pants. Slightly. Why do you have so many different types of shotgun ammo? But not a shotgun. Fancy helmet, that's nice. Well, that seems pretty hefty. I like the sound on that, actually. My aim seems not great. Only takes one turn to reload. Going to throw you this way. Wow, there's dudes everywhere. Not good. I hope that that did some damage. I, um, why are you right on top of me there? Let's see if I can back up, maybe? That certainly seems to have slowed the rest of them down. Well, we healed ourselves. Guns reloaded. For me, my biggest issue is the whole game feels slow. And I know it sounds kind of dumb to say that like a turn-based turn game feels slow, but it does. And not, like, in a great way. Ah. 
They are friendly firing each other. It's also kind of hard sometimes to tell whether or not something is going to hit you or not, or if it's going to activate something. Like, it's not as fluid as other games that look like this and play like this. Like, that's very not good feeling, shooting like that. Enemies are kind of hard to see. How does pain work here? I have no idea. It's not exactly explaining its mechanics. I'm just kind of guessing right now. I'm assuming it's an accuracy debuff, but realistically, I have no idea. It's like the, the health system seems interesting, but like... There's always either been an auto dock or like some way of replenishing it. Like it kind of feels like it wants to be a survival horror feeling game, but there's like so much ammo everywhere. Assuming that's where we need to go. The level gen seems nice. I will say that. It's not like, um, like I'm not running into the problems that I did with Doors of Trithius where just, I felt like I was just looking at the same level every time. What's up, Death of Fish? Yeah, I think, although, like, me needing to fire for, like, three turns to kill an enemy might also just be my own lack of knowledge of how this game works. And, like, I might just need to be closer to enemies when I shoot them. It might just be one of, like, a situation like that. Like, now things are dying real fast because of the gun I'm using, right? It's like, this is a close quarters combat, like, buckshot, basically. Right. It's just kind of hard to figure out what's alive sometimes. Like, stuff just kind of blends together. And I guess I can just shoot through that. But yeah, I think I liked the old character art of this more. There also seems to be either uh, some friendly fire happening here, or there's multiple factions in this area. Also, holy fuck, these enemies take a lot of bullets. My good lord. Okay, so we're, you're now a bigger thing. Why can't I move? Um, game, are you frozen? Hmm. Um, I can't click on things. That still works. I, um, I'm not hungry. It starts flashing red when you're hungry. What if, can I drop stuff? I think I'm actually stuck in a reload, but it's not actually reloading. So like clicking stuff obviously still works. Um, I think we found a soft lock, yeah. Because, like, I clicked on this, started reloading, I had the icon for reloading, and then went to move to this side, and it wouldn't let me move. So it's got to be some sort of soft lock with reloading. Maybe if I swap ammo type? There we go! Well, that's interesting. I wish that there was like a, a code saying what these dots, I mean, I can guess what the red dots mean, right? But I really wish that there was some kind of qualifier. Also, you know, the guns in this universe, really poor quality. I mean, look at 
how quickly these guns fall apart. Like, it's a little bit offensive. Okay, let's try this bottom door. Curious if these... Okay, the boxes do get destroyed. That's kind of fun. Oh, that's good. There's now a weird blobby skeleton man in front of me. And I can't hit him. <laughs> Even though he's in melee range. There we go. Very tactical combat. Some of them shoot back, yeah. Well, that one knocked me back. Ow. Okay, maybe it's time to leave. Let's shoot you. Bleh. Let's see if I can just walk away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, why are you here? Well, this seems bad. <laughs> no, there is no display for your hit percentage. You're just gonna have to go by green bar, red bar, yellow bar. Red bar is like a chance to hit, green bar is you're guaranteed to hit, and red bar is you're less likely to hit. So, I think kind of what, like, so so this is your system map, right? We have these two systems for here, and I guess these are just different missions on each location, right? I think that if you're going to play this, right, what's going to end up happening is you're going to find yourself having to repeat the same environments over and over. Like, these levels that we've done aren't repeatable. Right, I just, I did one mission, I did a second mission, and this is the second mission which we've died on twice now. And there's three missions in this build of the game, right? I think you're right, Hori Ganto. I think you are correct in regards to switching to run. Um, I don't like this progression at all. Because what I want is I want a big, interesting level. I don't want a tiny kind of uninteresting level that I'm expecting to resupply on. I wish this game was just a roguelike. Because what's going to end up happening is it's just going to be grinding. Right? I kind of like that they kill your character. But I also kind of don't like that. So I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. So I think I'm done with this. Uh, this will be out for free for people to try on the 31st. If you would like to try this, you can try it then.